Cartwright's blog at BillCartwright.com. It's great to see you again. Sorry I've been absent a little bit. Just got back from my European trip. Three weeks in Europe talking about stress. What's amazing about the people in Europe, I don't understand why they have stress. It is just the most beautiful place I've ever been. We hit nine countries, my wife and I, and we just had the best time. And I want to thank everybody out there that made us feel right at home while we were so far away from our home. Well, today what we want to talk about is we're going to get into a little bit of the questions that I receive. And one of the questions I receive is, why do I crave sweets? Where do these carbohydrate cravings come from? Well, I talk about that a little bit in the book. And when you get these cravings, it actually means your body is stressed out. Remember, we talk about stress. Stress is not a subjective thing. It's objective. So it's a response in our body. And when stress response isn't managed, it affects your metabolism. So we talk about metabolism. Metabolism is simply energy. There's no such thing as a bad or good metabolism. It's either working or it's not working. Now, a working metabolism uses fat for energy. The challenge that we have as human beings, and you hear me say this all the time, is we're built for one thing. We're built for survival. So when we have an imbalance in the body, the body stores fat, we gain weight. Now, what happens when the body's not burning fat, it still needs to get in fuel. And the fuel it uses then is primarily sugar. See, where our bodies are very well designed to store fat, People will tell you I know how to store fat. We're very insufficient at storing sugar. So when our bodies are stressed out or our bodies are run down, what happens is it can't use fat for fuel. So the body keeps taking sugar, keeps taking sugar. In fact, it will break down your muscle to get more sugar. And so when that happens, you crave sweets. You crave carbohydrates. That's why if your physiology does not process carbohydrates like mine. If I eat a carbohydrate, it doesn't matter if it's a piece of fruit or a candy bar, it will actually make me crave for more. Why? Because the moment I eat that, it shuts down my metabolism, I stop burning fat, and my sugar levels get thrown off. The body has to have sugar because your brain's primary source of energy is sugar. So people don't understand that cravings are actually signals. The body is telling us something. When you're craving sweets, when you're craving bread, when you crave carbohydrates, the message is your body is stressed out. It means you're not managing the stress response. And so you have to manage stress. And remember, we have three lines of defense to measure to manage stress. The first line is your diet. You're not eating at the right time. You're not eating the right combinations. And if you're not eating, you can't manage this survival response. And the second line of defense is exercise. And exercise is about movement. You have to move. And then the third line of defense is personal development. The level of your personal development will actually determine the level of your success at any given point in your life. So for today's blog, we're talking about cravings for sugar. If you're having cravings for sugar, I stress you, just kidding, you don't have to be stressed. I implore you to go and check out Stress Response Diet. You can check us out at www.billcourtright.com and ask us questions. We're here for you. Please comment on the blog. Ask me questions. I will help you to get rid of those cravings and fire up your metabolism. Thank you for joining me.